I'm here with Ian O'Doherty. Well, I wish I had more faith in them, Peter. But I've now, Ian, you're from Tralee in Kerry. Mm -hmm. When did you start performing music? Teens, late teens actually. I didn't get to guitar until I was 16, 17, which is kind of, well, I would consider relatively late to, to start playing an instrument. When you're writing a song, would you write the lyrics or the melody and music first? So what comes first? Uh, sometimes one, sometimes all, sometimes none. I've kind of come to know songwriting as quite an ethereal experience nearly. I've kind of given up trying to understand what works best, trying to put a theory or trying to put a, a box or a frame on it. So it could be, could be any of them. When you write a song, do you have an intended audience in mind? I do, um, or at least I did. At the start, you're very aware that you need to make inroads as quick as you can and you maybe write songs that you think might have a better chance of getting to radio but now I'm working on a batch of songs where I'm the intended audience and uh, it, it feels like it feels like the best place so far anyway. How do you know when a song is done? I think it's, it's very much, well for me it's very much a good thing you know if, if there's something wrong or if it's if it's okay to, to say okay we're done now. <laughs> How long on average would it take you to write a song? It depends, um, it could take you know, you could write a song in a day. For me, there'd be little pieces of songs that'd be floating around the place. So it's, it's very much a case of a, so a song by song. Tell us what you've learned over the years about writing good lyrics. Again, it's, it's very much an opinion thing for me, a personal opinion thing for me. A good lyric is, it's accessible, it's interesting. I like to know what it means. <laughs> That's kind of, that for me is, is a good lyric. Is songwriting something that you can learn? I don't think everybody could learn it. I think there has to be is something there and again that goes back to kind of an, an ethereal belief on songwriting that it's you can't define it it's something that just can't be put in a box or or really kind of given any kind of definition i think you can learn to be better um if it's in you i, do, I don't know is it for everybody what is the best piece of songwriting advice you've ever been given um persistence i think now here comes a hard question for you mm. what <laughs> is the best song ever written and can you say why? I can go from week to week, month to month, kind of having one song go around in my head and then it could be something else another time. Rocket Man by Elton John, that's one of the more recent ones that I've been kind of digging on. And But I don't know, I, I haven't got an answer to that. That's, that's too tough a question, let's move on. <laughs> Now, there's been discussion recently about you know certain um, artists you mm. know using a lot of collaborators and it's given rise to this notion that the art of songwriting in itself mm. is dying mm. would you see that it, it's still something that someone can sit down and write a brilliant song absolutely I don't think songwriting will ever die um, it may change and morph and adapt and all that kind of stuff but technology has given rise to the ability to sit in your bedroom and create songs that really sound very very good now they might just be a rough demo or something but there's more and more people getting into that and I, I think you know that's that's a good thing and I, I don't think I don't think songwriting could could ever die